Hello, um, this is a uh, money tin. Um, it's basic standard type that you normally see. <clears throat> it's an average size one. They take uh, usually 99% of the time the wafer locks. And uh, this one actually belongs to Special Children's Trust UK, which is a charity that I work for. <clears throat> it helps disabled children in Africa. And this is the tin that we normally use for when we do fundraising events. We um, obviously put the cash and stuff <clears throat> in this tin. Now it was loaned out to someone and it came back with no key. And that's the best that I remember. Um, but we've got something in here. <clears throat> um, I have had this open. So I thought I would just... Um, show you how to how these easily uh, open. In fact, these are so easy to single pin pick too. Most people tend to rake these things open just like that. There you go, and she's open. Yay, money! <clears throat> um, you, you could see that that was so easy to open. You can eat very sing, easily single pin pick this. <clears throat> now, let me just put this into one side for a moment because I want to talk a little bit about uh, wafer locks. This is a wafer lock that I uh, had taken off a tin that I think it got damaged or something. And um, this was used to secure, would you believe it? quite a bit of money <clears throat> and for some reason the tin got damaged and uh, I was asked if I could open this and take take out what was inside it so I did that but what I found that this tin, this was on a um, probably tin around about the same size as, the, as that one um, there you go it's it's kind of locked um, what I found about this one was that this is actually Pretty much tall plastic. Most of it's plastic, actually. This bit's metal, cast. Um, but what I discovered with this when I was asked if I could open this and pick it, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I couldn't believe this. There's the key. In. There's the key, rubbish bitting. Here's the wafer lock. Um, you can see inside of there. In fact, if you look careful, what can you see inside of there? One wafer. One wafer. In fact, all you need to do is lift that one wafer with a tip of the. I mean, you put the key in. You know, and there you go, lock, unlock, lock, unlock, lock. Let's take it out with it in the lock position. But here we go. And it's locked. So I just, when I saw this one wafer, I just put the tip of the key in. And there you go. Can you believe this was on a a money tin. Look at this. The tip of the key. In fact, I don't know if we can get close. Can you see there? One wafer. Just need to push it up. Like this. I'm trying to get it on the camera. There you go. One wafer. In fact, use pretty much anything. There you go. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so I thought, I haven't done this. This is the first time um, with this lock. I thought we would maybe let's experiment and uh, maybe let's take it apart, eh? Together. 
No, I didn't do much preparation for this, to be absolutely honest with you, so... Bear with me a little bit. I'd like to investigate some more... Some orbs, some more wafer locks in the future, different types of wafer locks. So let's just see if we can. It's hard to get the clip off, then it's to open the lock. Okay. Now let's just. Whoa, look at this. This wafer lock, actually, if I can get a focus on it. It's got the wafers in it for four, wa four wafers. Oops, there goes the spring. Okay, forget that. <coughs> There's one wafer. You can put four wafers in this. The key looks like it's keyed up for four wafers. Actually, it's more like three. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's the one wafer that this lock had in it and the spring. Unbelievable. I can't believe they've put that on a lock. It's one wafer. That's the worst of the worst. And, um, no, it's not a master lock. <laughs> so there you go. I opened, I opened a wafer lock very easily on a tin. Don't store your money in one of these and think it's really secure. And some of them even have wafers. But so poor. Um, I can't believe that. Surprised. One wafer. Okay, there you go. That's all. I've got. To keep the video short, that's all I've got for now. Later on, some other time, I'll be investigating different kind of wafer locks, and um, hopefully, we'll learn something together. Thanks very much for watching. Um, thanks for subscribing, and goodbye for now.